everything I used to dream being real right now, now, now. If it wasn't working, I'm working now. Structural MD Innovated Civil Engineering. Pancakes and Powerlifting has 1,000 visits per day. Brick Clothing does $100 million in revenue per year. I won USAPL Nationals. I graduated as summa cum laude. I am a multi-billionaire. I own a jet, 20 cars, and a $10 million country home. I donated millions of dollars to the troops. I emptied the bucket for everyone. Now, 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 yeah. I keep on going till the lights go down, yeah. Till the lights go. Everybody wanna make millions, but not everybody been working. Everybody know they got brilliance, but not everybody been searching. Everybody rap about money and hoes, but they got neither. Everybody knows, always been keeping it real. Every time that I spit in the flow, I've been going to get it. They not gonna forget it. I've been going up, they've been staying in the flow. My music been personal, telling my story, I'm telling the truth, and my life been exposed. Talking the phase that we in it together, I'm never gonna turn even under the pressure. I'm keeping it to the matter to me, the curtains are open to close. Everything I wanted, I got it. Always wanna never be stopping. Everyone asking when the new drop in pressure been. All right, so today is a high carb day, and we're going to go out and celebrate my birthday dinner. Um, because IIFYM is still not an excuse to go out and eat everything, even though I use it on prep. What I mean is, like, it just wasn't worth it for me to go out and have a high calorie meal that wasn't very filling, spend all my macros in one meal, um, during prep because my birthday was like three or four weeks out from the show. Just wasn't worth it. So, what I'm gonna do is, we're going to Melt. So, those of you that are in Ohio know what I'm talking about. Very good restaurant, they have crazy sandwiches. Um, I'm going to go and track it right now and reserve those macros or budget that or budget those macros so they're already spent and then go out and through the rest of the day with whatever's left. So going to save a large majority of them because it's about to be good. If you guys have questions, let me know. I'll be awake all day. So as you can see, they have a pretty crazy menu and <clears throat> nothing like that is typical of what you'd find in MyFitnessPal or really any other major chain restaurant. Plus, since it's a small local place, really it's only in the major cities in Ohio, like Cleveland, Akron, Columbus, Dayton. They don't have their nutrition facts published online, and they probably don't want them published online because they're probably pretty high, and a lot of people just would rather not know and be naive. So what we're gonna do is probably just track whatever sandwich I get as like a double cheeseburger, and then french fries being french fries, and that's them apples. Remember, it's just not about perfection, and even having a somewhat guesstimate is better than just blindly going in and, and not doing anything, if that makes sense. Like, even getting half of it right is better than getting none of it right. Kind of like how partial credit saves your ass in school. Same idea. Alright, so it's been an eventful morning, to say the least. Um, for some reason, this laptop... Got the Dropbox updated first, probably because it's closer to the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to pull those photos off, put them on a hard drive. Um, drop, drop glass stuff on the floor. Just, um, I was hoping to get a head start way quicker than what I did. Just, now I want to start today. So, we're going out for my birthday later. So I want to get as much done as I can. I have six and a half hours. Let's go. Down, down, till the lights go down, down, down. I've been feeling all right. I've been taking what's mine. I've been running out of time. I'ma keep on going up till the lights go down. Everybody want to be friends now, but not everybody been with me. Started with a couple hundred plays. So doing some stuff for work, the typical project of like renaming photos, data entry. So it's pretty mind numbing, but... We have to rename thousands and thousands and thousands of photos. And before, I was just doing it one by one, one by one, by one. But because this morning, like, didn't start the way I wanted to, you know, I dropped stuff, glass broke, I had to go clean that up, time, time, time. I was like, all right, maybe there's a quicker way. There's got to be a quicker way to rename. So basically, 
it's a crap load of photos and instead of deleting the file name and changing it all I wanted to do was and you know how photos are named are like DSC001 DSC002 all I wanted to do was add an extension set underscore and then the poll number and basically what I was able to do is you create folders for each of the polls so poll 1, poll 2, poll 3, poll 4 I found an open source program through the internet, spent like maybe 20 minutes googling it and then all you have to do is basically take the photos so there's 12 photos for poll 1, put those 12 photos in a, in a folder drag that folder into this program um, say what you want to change the file name to so for example I kept you know coded it to say original file name stays the same add underscore poll 1 hit go does it for all 10 photos and snap just flipping through it about to bust out 2,000 photos probably in like an hour and a half whereas before that would probably take me a day at least if not more uh, assuming day is eight hours of work but super helpful stuff again just capitalize on the power of the internet that's it and just spending that time to go through the rabbit hole of like ah eh, this isn't what I wanted and this isn't what I wanted and this isn't what I wanted and then reading and trying ran a couple codes that didn't work a couple batch files that didn't work so same old, same old message. No guac on the salad today because we budgeted all the macros for dinner tonight. All the fat, I should say, is going to be spent tonight. And that's really all there is. It's just opportunity cost. Is it worth it for me to have french fries later and skip the guac now? Or is it more worth it to have guac on my salad and no french fries later? Choice is yours. Freedom. Here's something really interesting that I actually don't think I've shared those people that know me or are really close to me would know of these two events. But I know the recent prep and really like all this teaching of flexible dieting seems to have come from like a quote unquote noble place. But in all honesty, it really came from a pretty dark place. This past summer, I got pulled over twice and had to pass a DUI exam twice within like two weekends. One time I got pulled over by two cops, next time it was by three. The prep, or most recent prep, started as a way to get me to not get myself into trouble. So, because I am the epitome of the saying, idle hands are the devil's workshop. If I'm not busy, I will find trouble. Trust me, I am very good at it. I have become very good friends with the police officers. It is only then later that prep turned into be like, oh, it seems to be a really good opportunity to teach flexible dining. So, although it seems like it comes from a noble place of teaching us and the whole past prep, really the prep started, one, as a result of being pulled over for two almost DUIs, one speeding ticket. I am not some god. I am human, just like you guys. Not special. So we got Document the Journey 40 going up. And in yesterday's video, if you saw... I touched on the fact that I messaged a client or made him a video explaining some difficulties and, and differences in the drawings they sent me. Very happy with it. He was very pleased. Looks forward to meeting me. And again, it's just going the extra mile, going the extra distance, making the video, even though we had technical difficulties because I uploaded so many files to Dropbox. Um, you know, it's just keep over delivering for Structural MD. Just keep trying to grow it, keep trying to grow it. Even though what I'm doing isn't what I intended to do, opportunities are coming. Continue to do it, continue to do it, continue to do it. So I'm um, going to leave here in like an hour and a half for birthday with the family. So in the meantime, i going to do stuff for the Flexible Dieting Lifestyle brand. Be sure to check them out if you haven't at the Flexible Dieting Lifestyle on Instagram. Great recipes, great macros, but enough fitness stuff. It's a business day. Come on. And now birthday dinner with the family. See you guys later. Not everybody saw this me. I seen it coming, it was all or nothing. I knew the future gonna give me something. I put in the time, put in the work on my rhyme. Knew all along I was shy. Sometimes it just kind of feels like you went a little bit over your plan and your macros, you know? It kind of sucks, to be completely honest. But happens, human, move on with it, right? Raise me, invest in myself. Already knew the projection. Drowning in all of my wealth. Now money is people and blessings. Wishing that everyone started with millions of dollars. Structural MD Innovated Civil Engineering. Pancakes and powerlifting has 1,000 visits per day. Brick Clothing does $100 million in revenue per year. I won USAPL Nationals. 
I graduated as summa cum laude. I am a multi-billionaire. I own a jet, 20 cars, and a $10 million country home. I donated millions of dollars to the troops. I empty the bucket for everyone.